Manchester City were back in the Premier League after just one season away and returned with a brand new ground, the Walkers Stadium. But by mid-September, they had only two Premier League points to their credit, something they hoped to address with the visit of Leeds United. 30,000 fans, still full of hope, packed into the ground. Leicester had three players, Alan Roger, Ricardo Schimmerker and Les Ferdinand suspended, while Keith Gillespie and Matt Elliott were injured. Despite some high-profile departures from Leeds in the summer, Peter Reid still had plenty of talent available to him. Dominic Matteo and Ian Hart were injured, so World Cup winner Roque Jr. made his Premier League debut. The hugely talented Jermaine Pennant was on loan from Arsenal. Mickey Adams and Peter Reid were good friends off the pitch. How would their teams fare on it? Your match commentator is Alan Parry. Leicester City in the blue shirts and white shorts. Leeds United all in white. And it's Fatchap with the first ball forward aimed at Scowcroft. Fatcher, a player who's had dreadful luck with injuries in his career. £5 million pound signing from Tottenham Hotspur. Harry Kelly, Leeds' longest serving player. And then the header away by Jerry Taggart. Smith bowled over and both officials convinced that that challenge by Taggart worthy of a free kick he's had a serious knee problem for a long time now the big Northern Ireland international here's Smith with the layoff Nallis read it correctly not the best ball one back by Sacco who's made a very good start to his Leeds career and goes through again dangerously here lovely little back heeler by Baduka to set him up and Walker had to be on his toes in the opening minute here as Sacco and Viduka combined impressively. And at the other end, an early threat which Domi clears. Now bent. And here's one of uh, Leicester's best known players, of course, Muzzy, is it? And the captain's armband tonight. Just bent back on the ball again and gets round Didier Domi very impressively. Good ball in, and that could have been a goal inside one and a half minutes for Scowcroft. Good reaction by Robinson. Wonderful play by Marcus Bent here. Left Didier Domi for dead, and the cross could not have been better. And in all fairness, well, it would be hard to improve on the header as well. Threat perhaps as Dickoff almost picked out Hignett. Domi takes the fight deep into Leicester's heart. Not a bad ball either for Smith, who did well to win it back. And even better to get a shot in from that range. Excellent effort by Alan Smith, whose next goal will be his 50th in Leeds United's colours and he was almost celebrating it here that really was excellent play by the England international who's still only 22 and Peter Reid says this is a big season for him wants to see him fulfil his undoubted potential scored against uh, Newcastle and Tottenham already Got nine goals last season he'd be looking for more than that I'm sure this term he's not a particularly prolific scorer but he's a very very dangerous player He's gone out for corner. Clever play by Paul Dickoff, who scored against the Faroe Islands in uh, midweek last week. His first goal for his country, Scotland. And the Northern Ireland man, Taggart, lumbers his way forward. Is it trying to organise things from afar? Scowcroft and then Taggart both had an opportunity poor defending really here by Leeds they had a couple of opportunities to get that away in fact uh, when you look at it from behind the goal it's an excellent save by Robinson and very nearly a goal again as Thatcher of all people came storming in I say of all people uh, because it's pretty well known in football that this is a guy who does not trouble the scorers in cricketing parlance. He's only ever scored once 
in over 250 matches in his career and that was eight years ago for his first club Millwall so that would have been one for the record books if it had gone in and they can't believe it I bet they can't believe it was Thatcher who had the effort Leeds living dangerously kick off up against Camara and the Leeds player surely hauling him back he was Anything less than 100% effort from Paul Dickoff, who might not be the most uh, technically gifted of strikers, but defenders hate playing against him. Is it free kick? Is useful and almost another goal. Well, I say another. Haven't scored one yet, of course. But by now, there could have been two or three ahead. Scowcroft this time. That's about three really good headed opportunities. And then we had a goal scramble a couple of minutes ago. And on any one of those occasions, Leicester could have found themselves ahead here. That's a poor ball by Hignett. Smith. Morris has given it away. That was uh, sloppy, really, by the former Chelsea man. Is it also a former Chelsea player with a much better ball to Marcus Bent? He's picked out Hignett. He picked out no one in particular. And what a great effort! Oh, what a magnificent goal by Nallis! That is very special. Lillian Nallis, the Frenchman, scores his first goal in the Premier League. And what a goal! He'll never hit the ball more perfectly in the rest of his career. A magnificent strike. High into the top corner. The sweetest left footballer you'll ever see. And Robinson comprehensively beaten. Wonderful technique by the Frenchman. What a goal. He'd already scored an own goal in the defeat at Chelsea. Now he proves he can do it properly at the other end as well. A stunning strike by Nallis. And really, you have to say Leicester City deserved to be in front. Four decent opportunities before that wonderful strike by Nallis. Just nothing you can do about that as the defending team. Paducah, good challenge by Sinclair. And Nallis goes in and gives away a free kick this time for the challenge on Jody Morris. As Gary Kelly lines up a long-range free kick. Optimistically, you might think, because he had to score a Premier League goal for over six years now. to say, if you'll forgive me, you can see why. A pretty poor effort, which the manager will not have enjoyed. Midway through this Barclay Card English Premier League match, and Leicester have got another goal, Paul Dickoff! What a transformation! They can't believe it, these home fans. A straightforward ball down the middle of Leeds' defence. And Leicester increased their lead to 2-0. That really was route one. Two flicked on headers, but what a turn. I said before that maybe Dickos are not the most technically gifted of players. Well, you've got to say, 10 out of 10 for his technique here. Took it beautifully on the chest. And the little volley found the corner of the net. And Leicester City have got two goals in, what, about three minutes. And Leeds are rocking and all over the place here. Yeah. 
Robinson, who's not otherwise had a save to make, but he did have one early on, didn't he? Has picked the ball out of his net twice. Walker at the other end was never going to be troubled by that effort from Seth Johnson. It's all gone horribly long for Leeds United so far tonight. And he will summon up the words to express his disappointment, you can be sure of that. Leicester City edging their way towards half-time with their two-goal lead intact. Johnson in strongly. The Dukas layoff, poor. And the clearance by Taggart finds, well, found no one. But he found the net in spectacular fashion to set Leicester City on their way here and bring the entire stadium to life. Dickoff followed it up with a beautifully taken goal himself. And Leicester City have dominated the first half here at the Walker Stadium and thoroughly deserved to go off to a standing ovation, Leeds United, they've got to sort things out and sort them out quickly. A half-time score, Leicester 2, Leeds 0. No changes of personnel made by either manager during the half-time interval, though you can be sure that Leeds United, who kick off here, all in white, will have had uh, a few words of well-chosen advice from their manager as Pennant immediately gets an impressive cross in, but Walker has been on his game tonight. He's come and caught everything, set pieces, crosses like this. He's in the mood where he's going to take some beating, I think. Pennant. Disappointed in that first half, but he's uh, started pretty brightly here. It wasn't his fault that the Duca was offside in the middle. And Peter Reid has had to rebuild the Allen Road squad with a mixture of free transfers and loans. Wasn't expecting it all to be plain sailing, but he certainly wouldn't have expected Mickey Adams' team to give him as many problems tonight as they have given him. Scowcroft, one of the many pluses for Leicester. Sacco. Clearance was by Mazzi Izzik. Johnson. ball and Baduka at the second opportunity pulls it back and Sacco with a miss kick as Thatcher made the challenge and a difficult bounce deceiving Craig Hignett this has gone again for a free kick to Leicester foul I think by Lamine Sacco Thatcher a little embarrassed at the uh, sliced miscue Kelly's clearance. As he is it deceived by the bounce. And then bent with the shot, and that wasn't too far wide. He's looked lively as well. Adams will be very pleased that he's getting the very best out of his players here tonight. He's been around Marcus Bent. He's only in his mid-20s, but he's already had seven different clubs and uh, the scored goals. For all of them, it's quick and uh, strong. As Dickoff threatens again here, and that surely, well, the referee has waved it away, but that looked very close to being a penalty to me as Roque Jr. clearly pushed Paul Dickoff. Taggart clears at the other end. And again, They've been outpaced here. Oh, and that's great work by the goalkeeper, Robinson. They're all over the place still, Leeds. <laughs> uh, I don't think uh, we'd even offer him a penny for his thoughts.
Manchester City do have a wonderful record here at the Walker Stadium. Just two defeats in the 25 league games they've played here. Burnley beat them 1-0 last October in a nationwide game. And then Ipswich 2-1 on Boxing Day as Bent threatens to increase Leicester's lead again. Been a lot of movement about Leicester City tonight and a lot of very impressive aspects to their game. Roque okay, Junior did well this time to win it back. Now Morris. Kelly. Duca using his strength to good effect this time, but played it in behind Joni Morris. Great turn, though, and a lovely ball for Smith. The best moment of the game from Leeds United's point of view. One or two lovely little sharp passes here, and when it looked as though Morris had lost it, he suddenly regained the initiative. corner which will come as some relief to the travelling Leeds United fans who've had very little to infuse over so far tonight Camera who scored against uh, Middlesbrough in the 3-2 win making his way forward and the header was by Roque Junior Well, I've rarely seen Paducah as quiet and ineffective as he has been tonight, but this man is a natural goal scorer. He's averaged one every two games since he came into the Premier League, so even when he's having an off night, I never discount him. Nice. On to Skokoff, but the whistle had already gone for a Leicester free kick. clearance for Kelly and a chance again oh it's a fine save well Robinson has made two wonderful stops tonight and the two goals that beat him he could do nothing about and Leeds it seems have been able to do nothing about Scowcroft all night because whenever there's been a ball to be won in the air he has won it terrific support for the home side here Smacks against the crossbar this time. Well, I don't believe uh, what we've been seeing tonight because Thatcher, remember the man who hasn't scored a goal for eight years and has only ever scored one in his entire career, has headed one just over and now has got even lower and smacked the crossbar with another effort. If he gets a third chance, he might finally get that. Long, long waited for goal. Stokopt has had an excellent game. Gets it back from Curtis. And again, Scowcroft is there to win the header. This time he had a new partner to pick out in Dean. No wonder he was calling for the ball. As I mentioned before, I think he's won every single header he's challenged for. Dean Stewart and on to is it Dickoff well the defender slipped and that just gave him the glimmer of an opening and how well he accepted it Paul Dickoff gets his second goal of the night Leicester City get their third signed sealed and delivered their first victory back in the Premier League is now assured and Leeds nightmarish evening just continues that slip 
by Kamara just gave Dickon the opportunity to get a yard on him and as he proved with his excellent finish in the first half that's all he needed what a good night for the Scot but a bad night for the Yorkshireman and Mickey Adams a Yorkshireman himself from Sheffield celebrates the downfall of Leeds United and thoroughly deserved that scoreline well, I was saying earlier that they needed a big score to uh, climb those potential eight places up the table they started at minus three of course they're now level in terms of goal difference so they're on their way they will certainly climb a few places and they certainly deserve to on this performance Off again, pursuing every loose ball, worrying every defender when in possession. And Paul Dickoff, whose career began, of course, with Arsenal, though he never really established himself as a regular there, has uh, had a very, very good week. First goal for Scotland, two for Leicester. And threatening at the other end. Well, that was a spectacular effort by a man who's looked out of sorts tonight, the Duca, but into the side netting. Quite possibly offside, I would have thought, the Australian. It's not going to be their night, it's not going to be his night. in another corner and another goal now with the uh, icing on the cake and also maybe help to nudge them another place up the table unless that could be very valuable over the course of the season so they'll keep looking for it they've got a free kick Stadium resounding to the noise of happy Leicester City fans. The disgruntled Leeds fans already making their way home. And there's another goal. And if ever a man out there deserved it, it's Scowcroft. He's not missed a header all night. He wasn't going to miss that one. 4 0 to Leicester. United have not been able to cope with him from first minute quite literally to last and he'll be bubbling the man in the background well quite frankly he'll be boiling never mind bubbling because Leeds have been awful there's Pennant. And uh, a late and fairly irrelevant corner, won by Leeds. And defended successfully by Leicester. Leicester City are off and running, and how? Their first Premier League victory back amongst the big boys, and it was mighty impressive. They've recorded three points, they've shot up the table, and they've proved that Leeds United could be in for a long, hard season. Scowcroft with that excellent fourth goal, having tormented Leeds in the air all night. Fantastic effort early on from Nallis, Two beauties from the little Scott Paul Dickoff, and the Leicester fans will go home very happy having seen their team 
win this match by four goals to nil. Leicester bouncing back in some style, a result which gave them real hope. But unfortunately for their vociferous fans in their bright new stadium, this was one of the few high points in a season which saw them relegated once again from the Premier League. It was worse for Leeds, who finished a place below Leicester. Peter Reid didn't even see the year out as manager as the club went into financial meltdown.